Hi, and thanks for choosing Purple Host. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install Forge on your Minecraft server. So there is two methods for this, as 1.17 does require you to use a new method. I will be showing 1.17 first, and then we will do 1.16 and below after that. Also, one thing to note is that if you do have Pebble Host Premium, or you have bought the Mod Packs add-on, you can go ahead and go to the Jar and Pre-Install menu, and click on Other Pre-Installs, and then pick your Forge version just like that, and it will install automatically. If you do not have this, then we will have to do it manually, which I'm going to show you today. So if you're looking to do it manually and you want to install 1.17.1, then you have to go to the jar and pre-install menu and go to other. Make sure you don't click other pre-installs, make sure it's just other. You then want to go over to forge 1.17.1 and then in brackets require setup. Then click on it and then click save at the bottom right. But it is not as simple as that, we now need to install forge for our own client. So you can go ahead and search forge on Google it will most likely be the first result. You want to go ahead and click on that, and it should take you to a page that looks like this. You then want to click on Installer. It will then take you to this page. Some ads may come up, but just ignore them. Just wait until the five seconds is up, and in the top right corner, you can go ahead and click Skip. If you then look in the bottom left, it will then show you that you have downloaded Forge. So now it's completed, we can go ahead and click on it. We can then go ahead and click install client it will start installing and then there we go it has successfully installed the forge client but we still need to install our server files so once again go back to the forge file so i'm going to go to my downloads and here it is here's the file we then want to click install server it will probably say this which you just want to click the three dots go to desktop create a new folder by right clicking click new folder and we're just going to call it forge you can name it whatever you want but for simplicity i'm just going to name it forge you can then click open and then once you've done that go ahead and click ok it will start installing again but it may take a little bit longer this time there we go it has successfully downloaded the minecraft server for forge 1.17.1 we can go ahead and click ok now if you go to Pebble host and go to the file manager on the left you can then go ahead and click upload and folder. You then want to go ahead and find your forge folder that you just made. Go ahead and click on it and select the libraries folder. You can then click upload. It may ask you if you want to upload these files, which you can go ahead and click upload. It will then start uploading the files to your server. Okay, so as you can see, it has now uploaded the libraries folder. We can go ahead and click back on the left, and then you want to restart your server. So if we go to the console, you can see the server is now starting up. And as you can see, it's found the forge file and is now loading up. Okay, so as you see, our startup has finished. And you can now add mods and join the server. If you don't know how to add mods, we do have a video on this, and I'll leave it as a card right now in the top right corner, and also a link in the description. Anyway, that is the whole installation for Forge 1.17.1. Now we'll do the installation for 1.16.5 and below. So once again, if you do have Pebblehost Premium or you have bought the mod pack add-on, you can go ahead and go to other pre-installs and select your version of Forge. But if you don't have this, we are going to do it manually right now. So first, you want to just search Forge and then your version. So we'll just do 1.16 for this. Any version of Forge below 1.16 should be installed the same way. We're going to go ahead and download the latest version by clicking Installer. It will then take you to this page where you can just wait 5 seconds in the top right corner and after this 5 seconds it will then say Skip. And then it will start downloading your Forge file. As you can see it's now downloaded and if it does ask you this just go ahead and click Keep. Okay so there we go it is now fully installed. We can go ahead and click on it so first we will need to install our client so we can go ahead and do this by just clicking ok and there we go we've successfully installed our forge client okay so we've now installed our client but we still do need to install our server files so once again open your file explorer and go to your forge file as you can see mine is right here you can then click on it and click install server 
it will then probably show red here, which you then want to click the three dots. You then want to go to desktop, right click and click new folder. You can then name this anything you want, but I'm just going to call it Forge for simplicity. There we go, so we've now selected our Forge folder, and you can go ahead and click open. Once you've done that, you can click OK. And as you see, it's now starting to install our server files. Okay, so there we go, it's successfully installed the Minecraft server for Forge. Now we need to go to the file manager on the left. So now you can click upload and click file. Then you want to navigate to your Forge folder, which mine is right here and then click the Forge 1.16 jar. You can then click open and it will start uploading. Once that is uploaded, you can go ahead and click upload it again, click folder, and then click the libraries folder, which is installed in your Forge folder. It may ask you if you want to upload all these files, which you just click upload. Okay, so now that you've installed all the files, we still have to change the jar. So you want to scroll down to the server type and click the jar and pre-install menu. You then want to click other and click custom jar. Then you want to click save in the bottom right. It will ask you for a custom jar name which you can just leave for now. So now we're going to grab the name of our custom jar. So I'm going to go to file explorer and I'm going to find our jar file. Here it is. And what you can do is you can right click and click rename and then select the whole thing and then just copy it and then you can just take this out and put it in right there you'll then need to click save so when the page reloads now you will see that it has updated we can now go ahead and restart the server okay so as you can see our server is now online you can go ahead and install mods and also just play your server if you're not sure how to install mods we do have a video on this which i'll leave in the description below Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. Hopefully it did help out, and if it did, definitely leave a like and also subscribe. Anyway, I'll see you next time.